Welcome guys. So we keep doing our physics subject GRE so 51. Uh true statement. Oh be sure to subscribe to my channel before watching it. Okay, and uh so fifty one true statement about absorption and emission of energy by an atom including which of the following. The atom can only absorb the lights that have certain specific energy. Uh this uh first one is correct. The second one, then the f an atom can emit photons of light of energy. Uh, basically, the second one is definitely not correct. And all the energy the lines absorbing spectrum of an atom coincident with the lines in its emission spectrum that represent transition uh, to the ground state. Uh, this is correct because because when uh, uh, when the uh, lower temperature, the most of the transition is. Uh, occurs from uh, close to the uh, ground state. So the first, uh, we should choose the first one and the third one. So the answer is B. The answer is B. Okay, 52, uh, you know the lambda and uh, there's a crystal and theta. So basically, you, all you, uh, need, you, need, you know that this question must ask about the Bragg's formula. Okay, uh, basically as the smallest angle, so all we have is just to design theta equals to lambda. And uh, so D is close to lambda divided by two sine theta. Basically this is uh, lambda over two sine of this one. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you don't have the, uh, you, you can, unfortunately you need to, <laughs> it tell you that this is, Unfortunately, tell you that, that this is one over four, so you can solve it. So D is close to two lambda. So the answer is is C point five point five. Okay, fifty three says the astronomers to total system, and the they have the same radius, and the they have uh uh. It's determined that the planet have ang have angular mo uh same magnitude of angular momenta and the uh, and uh, the orbit period also in the ratio t one over t two three, and ask about the uh, ratio of mass of two planets. Okay, so uh, one thing is to know that its angular momenta is the same. And then basically, they have the same R, so you know that M1 divided by N2 is V2 divided by V1. Also, you know that the period is T1 is equal to 2 pi R with V1, and the T2 is 2 pi R over V2. So you know that T of T1 over T2 basically is uh, just proportional to M1 over N2, uh, which is 3. So the answer is D, the answer is D. Okay, 54. If a sum were suddenly replaced by a black hole with a mass, with the Schwarz, Schwarz, Schwarz radius 3,000 meters, and it basically does not have any effects because some just shrink, but the mass is still the same, so all is the same. So the answer is uh, the orbit will remain unchanged because of the mass is the same. So 55, they said distant galaxies observed to have its hydrogen beta line shifted uh, to a uh, wavelength of 500 meters nanometers away from uh, the laboratory. Okay, so the important formula I already, at uh, least already happened many, many times. It's the Doppler effect of light. So you know the ratio, this is uh, 580, this is 400. So you know that the uh, 4 over 3 is basically 1 plus beta, 1 minus beta. So you can solve beta is uh, 7 over 25. So basically 0 0.28. 0 0.28. So the answer is A. The answer is A. A small plane, okay, 56. A small plane can fly at speed uh, 30 km y exploding from west to east. How much time is required for a plane to fly? Uh, 500 uh, kilometers uh, due north. Okay, so maybe we can. 
uh, draw a picture. Okay, so so there's a from west to east. So there's a three D KM. So this is there's, there's so okay. Let me so uh, this is the w uh, wind, and uh, there's a plane. So plane should so plane should uh, spend like uh, some uh, some speed on the right to on the east to west to compensate the the to compensate the 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 wind. So basically, uh, this is thirty, and uh, and the total, uh, the this one is two hundred. So because you need to spend this, so the north, so you only you can only take like square two hundred square minus th uh thirty square speed on the on the normal direction. So the time it takes is five hundred divided by this one. Okay. And then uh, we can divide uh one hundred. Uh, we can divide ten from both sides. Maybe divide by ten is easy. So fifty. This is minus nine. This is four. Uh, four hundred. So this is uh fifty over square root of this one. Okay. So the unit is R. So the answer is D. The answer is D. Okay, so fifty-seven. Uh, basically, ask about the uh, the intermediate force. Uh, this is easy. Okay, so suppose there is m one, m two. The total acceleration is m force l m one plus m two. So the intermediate force is f one two is f divided by m one plus m two times m two. So the ratio for the first cho uh, the for left hand side over the ratio of the right hand side is m divided by two m. Okay, and uh, so f one two for the left hand side is one over third, uh, one third, and the right hand side is two third. So we should choose. We should choose b. We should choose b. Okay, so fifty eight. Fifty eight. You say that you there is acceleration, and the box will move for constant acceleration to the right, and then there is a static friction between the two blocks, and the static friction acting between the blocks. Oh, basically, uh, so the easiest ways you see uh, you can focus on B. So you see the B box only, only uh can only get one force on the horizontal direction basically is the static static uh, friction uh oh, not 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 static but you do know that there is a uh friction to act on this b so only this friction force can give give him uh, give the correct answer so the force basically is ten times point because the b, uh, the mass of of the b is ten kilometers, uh, so uh, kilograms. So it's ten times ten times uh acceleration base is two. So that means the this twenty, this twenty uh is the force and uh, this is the only force which be act be act and uh, which be only uh so the friction uh, friction a uh, frictional force is the only force acting on b and by f equals to ma we know that this f must be as the same as this f so the answer is a the answer is a okay and the uh, 59 is the old school question you need to actually you, you should remember 
the result because in general, uh, in in uh, usually the uh, pendulum answer is uh, L over G, but uh, if there is an uh, acceleration upward, then if there is acceleration upward, then it will give the G to G plus A. So this is the common common results you need to remember. So the answer is C. The answer is C. Or basically, you can use F then equals to M A, but I think it's I think it's okay just to remember this result. Uh, right. This basically this is equivalence principle. Okay. So sixty. Uh, ask you about uh. Um, you have two. You have three. Uh, three wire, and the infinite. And uh, ask about uh, let me. Of a uh, magnetic field. Okay. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, if this is Z, then all you need to know is B is equal to mu naught i divided by two pi r. Here's r. Uh, phi hat. Okay. So this is the formula you need to remember. Okay. So basically, uh. Since we are only focusing on the, we we are only focusing on the x plane. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the points. At uh, so we have three. We need to consider three component. Uh, so this is x, and then this is uh x. Uh, over square root of two x over square root of two, and basically for this this i uh okay so basically we see first uh so this i will give you uh will give the the upward the upward force this this circuit uh this current and this current will also give you up 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 and then this uh, will also give you up so three of them uh should be should be the same directions. So the answer is just mu na i divided by two pi x, uh, plus mu na i divided by two pi uh x over square root of x times uh two. Okay, so the answer is c. Answer is c. Uh, by the way, it's up. It's upward. It's uh just flow, uh out from the paper. So it's y directions. So the answer is C. The answer is C. Uh, okay. So let me see. Oh, I think it's enough for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.